Welcome fellow YouTubers to another Actas Toy Review. Today we will be reviewing the D-Power Digivice. This D-Power Digivice is known as the D-Arc in Japan and it is featured in the Digimon Tamers Digimon Season 3. This Digivice is a little bit different from the others we have known due to its shape and uh, four buttons but other than that it's a Digivice. The same, you, same, same functions for uh, Digivolving and to help out your Digimon, the Digimon partner in the series. And this Digivice has four buttons and A, B and the directional buttons left and right. This Digivice is also a predominant Digivice which you actually shake to count the steps. Mm, when you press A button on the main menu screen, we call this the main menu screen or the uh, uh, the main screen, I should say. You press it, and then you can. It will tell you the distance, the steps, the D energy, and the win. Your win ratio in the connection battles. Uh, but other than that, that's all the A button is at your main menu. So what you can do, however, during the main menu, is press your directional buttons to access the the uh, menu menu screen, menu selection screen, I should say. <coughs> Here we have the status, where you can choose and switch your main Digimon and also check the stats of it, it, it and its Digivolved form. You can check both the life, attack and the sense and speed which are actually used for uh, dodging the opponent's attacks. We have the map where you can check your location and distance left to travel. We have cards, cards I'll explain that later. We have a game where you can actually press the left and right button to shoot these uh, little things, these insects I like to call them. And of course the points that you gain will be added to your D power. We have medical in case your Digimon is sick. And finally we have connect where you can versus other Digivices from the entire Digi Digimon line, Digimon Digivice line and D pets. And we also have scan which is used to which is used to with a D terminal, not D terminal, sorry, but a D spirit or a something else which will tell you information about the Digimon you wish to scan, whether it be boss, enemy, or your own Digimon. So, what is new about this Digivice is that it has a card slash function. The card slash function is used here and what we do is during a battle we place the card here and slide it down. Now this is not the actual card that has been used for the uh, actual Digimon Tamers Digimon line but you can use any card as long as it's a firm card and as you can see this is just some random card which I got uh, with my iPod. Uh, other than that, there is nothing much else about this device. So, but I will go on to explain the uh, bat the battle. When doing a battle, you can actually fight Digivolve or um, use battle cards. And I will give you a tip on the battle cards. For battle cards, we have speed, we have attack, life, and sniper, which is actually both speed and attack com combined together so so um what we do is when you s when you swipe a card for attack swipe it slowly to achieve the best results for life swipe it so life actually i have no idea what's for life but for sniper you swipe swipe it fast and for speed you swipe it at an average pace and that will allow you to achieve the maximum maximum benefits for your uh, Digimon so I shall set this aside oh another thing to note is that uh, in the original anime the, the Digimon Tamers slide their cards upwards however in this English Digivice you slide the card downwards that's just a little note but it doesn't really take away from the play and actually over here just let me get it just let me take it uh, we have this promotional Digimon and this is actually just uh, glorified Digimon trading card again from the English version and also I have the red card here where the Digimon Tamers use 
to enter the uh, D Reaper. And now I shall show you the Japanese version of the Digimon D Power Digivice or D Arc, as you say, which is over here. The D Arc is exactly the same size as the original, however, there are a few key differences. Uh, firstly, this is the Digimon version 02. Uh, zero to the powers, the arc. So it is a little bit different, but yeah, with a translucent plastic. Okay, so what we have here is actually a screen saver button where you can actually off or on the off or on the screen, like so. We have four buttons, but these four buttons are more show accurate. These two are made of plastic, and these two are made of rubber. And the difference is that these two are actually the A and B button, while these are the selection buttons. So for the Digimon D Arc Japanese version, we have in the main menu the same functions. We check the map and the steps in while pressing uh, A or B. I'm not sure. <laughs> and we also have. Uh, give me a second. Okay, uh, okay. We also have in this section the change Digimon screen. You can see the Digimon's data and change the uh, uh, Digimon screen Digimon. And we also have this menu screen where we have card slash. We have the note function. We have the Digimon. Uh, let me see what this is the Digimon slash function. I mean, Digimon viewer function, I should say. This one is the items function where you can where all your stored items are saved. We have medical and we have this these two which are connections. These to connect to other devices and these to connect to the Bandai Wonder Swan, which I have, but I'm not going to show it right now. And we have training and we also have training. Uh, the original this version of the uh, Japanese D arc, I should say, is um more show accurate because you slide the card upwards and you can't slide the cards downwards like so you are met with resistance and uh, we can use the cards uh, original Japanese version of the cards we actually input the numbers for items we have items and we have Digimon you also can scan the Digimon which you have encountered before and add them to your collection uh, we have you can add the symbol put in the symbol and you put in the number uh, I don't really recall any numbers, but let me just try. Uh, seven, seven, six. Let's see if this works. So all you have to do is put in the card, like so. And yes, I got it. And this one, I think, is the pace where the, where you're allowed to um. Uh, jump steps or something like that and of course all the items you can do it as many times as you want and it's stored in the items tray right here just down, count down the steps and that's about it uh, other than that well there is no other there's nothing, nothing much else for the uh, Digimon Digivice for the uh, D power and maybe in future reviews I will review other versions of the Digivice and I hope you enjoyed it